Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another Tips and Tricks session on AutoCAD for Catalyst Magazine. Uh, today, I'm coming to you from Gothenburg, Sweden. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit chilly here, but beautiful. So, it's worth being a little cold, I think. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. As I mentioned today, I'm going to be focusing on creating PDF files out of your AutoCAD drawings because I know so many of you need to do that. Now with AutoCAD 2010, Autodesk really bumped up the resolution of the PDF files that were created from AutoCAD and yet made the file size almost half. So higher resolution and yet much smaller PDF file sizes. So I want to make sure that you know all the ins and outs of creating PDF files, all right? So you'll be an expert. So. The first thing, of course, that you have to know is that you need to go to the Output tab. I'm hoping you're using the ribbon. Be, make sure you use the ribbon. <laughs> and here you'll see a great big huge button that says PDF Export. Now, I'm really not so sure how much easier it could get than that, but for some reason, it doesn't say PDF Export on your tab. No problem, drop this down and go down and select it, all right? Now, there's more to it than that, of course. You might decide that you only want to export uh, the current layout or you might decide that you want to give it a different page setup. There's a variety of things that you can customize um, and even more things that you can customize when you go into the plot dialog box. So I'm going to take you through this the long way. You just need to set this up once and then you'll be good to go. All right, but let's go to plot. And then very quickly, I'm going to drop this list down and I'm going to go to DWG to PDF, all right, because that's going to give me access to quite a few properties. And that's what we want to do, take a look at those properties. So let's go to graphics and let's go to, get out of the way there, merge control, all right? Because I know that many of you care what happens when lines cross, right? Do you want them just to overwrite whatever's on top wins or do you want it to actually merge into you know, a color combination of the two? Completely up to you. Right, let's go to custom properties because there are a lot of options in here. And the first thing that you'll have a choice of is, you know, what do you want the resolution to be? The new default, 2010 and higher, is 600 dots per inch. You can, of course, bump that up. The higher you set the resolution, the bigger the file, and technically the slower your plot will be, you know, pack a lunch. It's completely up to you. <laughs> I actually usually leave it at 600, but you all have standards, and you all know what you need to set it to. There are some other options, gradient resolution, raster image resolution. I do want you to see that if I try to bump any of these up higher than the vector and gradient resolution, it calls me names and it tells me, whoops, I didn't 600. Let's go higher. 1200, it calls me names and says, you can't do that. Okay, so the, those settings can't be any higher than the first one that you have at the top. Just a little tip for you, which you'd find out yourself anyway, right? <laughs> now, one of the reasons that the PDF files are smaller inside of AutoCAD 2010 and higher is because it, it no longer rasterizes text. It recognizes the fonts that go with the text. That's a good thing. That also means that you can do a search inside of uh, the PDF file, which many of us like to do. So here's the font list. You'll see it's kind of big, but that's good. No reason not to have these checks. These are all of the fonts that AutoCAD is going to recognize when it converts it to PDF. And as long as your text is in one of these fonts, you can then do a search of your PDF file. So keep that in mind. No reason not to just have capture all. I mean, I don't understand why you'd want to do it any other way, but it's completely up to you. And some other options. Some people don't like to send the layer information for their PDF files. They just want them to be a picture. They don't want them to know anything else. If that is the case for you, then you do not want to include the layer information. That also means that whoever is using the PDF file isn't going to be able to turn those layers on or off, but that's completely up to you, your choice, your standards. And then what do most of us do when we're done creating our PDF file? We open in the PDF viewer when done, right? We check it out. We want to check it out before we send it off. I hope so. We should check it out. So I'm going to leave that on. So it's one less step for me to have to do. It's going to do that for me automatically. Love that. All right, let's say OK. And OK. And now I'm ready to do my plot. All right, here we go. So uh, let's call it Catalyst. Why not? Why not? Save that. Here we go, and then it's going to do like a regular plot, but it's doing it out to a file. I want you to see that it did it very, very quickly. I didn't cheat in there. <laughs> I didn't cut the video. It just happens very fast. All right, what do we have on the left-hand side of the screen? These are our layers. We can come over here, and we can turn the layers off. As I do this, you should see changes happening in the PDF file, right? And what else can I do? I can do a search. Let's do a right-click, and let's do a find. And I'm going to look for... Oh, why not look for the word shop? Who doesn't want to look for that? <laughs> so there it is down there. It highlights it. No lie, there's not a lot of text in this drawing, but I think you get the idea. Let's zoom in on it so you can get a good look. 
And you'll also see that it says it has a scale factor of 1 to 200. That's going to be important to me later on the next tip because I'm going to take this PDF file and I'm going to bring it into AutoCAD and we're going to want to bring it in at the right scale. All right, so you should see there's a lot of options available to you so you get exactly the PDF file that you want, right? So are you an expert now at creating PDF files? I bet you are. Thank you so much for joining me, and I am going to see you back here in two more weeks, okay? Okay, not here, not in Gothenburg, because I'll be someplace else. I think I'll be home. That would be great. <laughs> but um, I'm going to definitely see you. All right, promise? Take care. I hope you have a great rest of the week.